part number Y66A10. And uh, as mentioned, this is uh, used for your blind spot modules, uh, your uh, front radar slash cruise control. And um, what we have here, 10 pin connector. Uh, of course, yours may only use, you know, six wires, but uh, it is a 10 pin connector. There's 10 way, really. And that is why the last number on our part number is a 10, which all of our part numbers have that. So you can tell how many cavities are in a connector by, uh, by the last digits in the uh, part number. First thing we've got to do here to get these pins out, there is a white lock on it. And we do have to bring that out just a little bit. The key here is uh, you don't pull the lock out too much. You want to um, just barely kind of bring it out enough so that you can uh, get the pins released. If you pull too far, it'll actually put tension on the pins and you won't be able to get them out or you'll think you're doing something wrong and it's really just because the uh, lock has been pulled too far out so I'll use the uh, same tool I'm actually going to use to release the pins and I, you can use a flathead screwdriver also but we'll just kind of bring it out a little bit so I'll go down in here and actually it clicks into place kind of makes it easy and so I know I don't have to go any further from there, on this one, it's kind of hard to see, but it has little tiny holes next to each pinhole. And on this one, and of course, you know, we have the advantage of being able to take these apart, and so we do know, but on this series of connector, this tool can slide down in there. Sometimes you can lift up a little bit, but usually it'll just pop right out once you've uh, pushed this all the way down in. So let me show you here. So we're going to do the top left first. So I'll kind of get a grip on the wire. First I push it forward back up into the connector to make sure tension's off the catch. And we're going to take our tool, slide down into our hole here. This is the release hole, not the actual hole where the pin is. So we'll push all the way down until it stops. And let's see if the pin comes out there. And it does, so you know that you're good to go. Some of them, again, you kind of push up on the pin a little bit on the uh, D-pin tool. And uh, it'll help to release it, but this one's perfectly sized for this connector so we'll do the next one so next one over right inside that little release hole all the way till it stops and it pops out so pretty basic you can just continue that all the way through now to reinstall pretty easy we'll take a whole fresh connector here these are typically going to come uh, with the lock already out whenever we're doing this part. If we send you the connector, it's usually going to come with wires already installed, but if you request them loose, then you would get it, and this lock should be already out. If not, you just pop it out just a little bit, and actually we can close it. So say it did come like that. Pretty easy. We'll just uh, go down in there again. Pull that out and you know that it is uh, unlocked because to put the pins in and to remove them is kind of the same deal if it's uh, the white lock is too far in or out they're gonna kind of hit a stop there so back of our connector here and the one thing you do have to make sure of is that the pins are oriented the right way typically you're not going to be able to put them in wrong um, this one I'll kind of show you so I already know that where the catches are because the catch falls down onto the pins from the top the two notches in the pin they're kind of hard to see but that's where that catch actually grabs so I know that they're gonna go facing up but let's just try it upside down first and I'll show you it actually stops seal doesn't go anywhere it doesn't even get close so you go, okay, wait a minute. Let's try it the other way. Slides right in and it clicks in position so you know that you're good to go. We'll follow it down the line. See if we can hear it click when it goes in there. So just like that. And what we can do here, we'll put them all in. I'm going to show you kind of completed. The one thing I try, we always like to do is uh, make sure that the rubber seal is uh, positioned the same from one to the other. Just kind of looks better, really. It's going to seal up either way, but it just looks like you know what you're doing when that seal, when they're not all in different positions. 
and especially if it pushes too far out then it might have ripped and you might need to replace it so from there we got all our pins in it's going to push that lock now it's locked pins aren't coming out and even if I took the tool to try to release them all the way down in it's not going to release because that lock is now engaged so that's just kind of a, the white lock is a secondary lock just to make sure that the main lock doesn't let go so there you go, that's the uh, D-pin repin of Y66A10.